In the wise words of Malcolm X, There is no better than adversity. Every defeat, every heartbreak, every loss contains its own seed, its own lesson on how to improve your performance the next time. In all honesty, adversity can be a great driver for us to learn a little bit of resilience. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Himmel, thank you guys so much for watching this in advance. I'm a motivational speaker and coach based in Melbourne and other than speaking to thousands of people every single year, which has changed quite a lot, I now make videos online and hopefully this will help a lot of people. Today's gonna to be about resilience and I think we're at a point where a lot of us are extremely exhausted, frustrated and tired. Social distancing, not being able to see our family and friends, working from home, online learning, all of these things are pushing us closer and closer and closer to our boiling point. But one thing that will get us through the challenges imposed by this pandemic is resilience. Resilience by definition is the capability of a strained body to recover its size and shape after deformation caused especially by compressive stress. I feel like those of us that, you know, that are very health conscious and miss the gym and all that, I feel like this hits home like a little bit too hard, but probably a more beneficial and appropriate definition is this one, which is an ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. A good analogy for resilience is one mentioned by UCLA's medical school psychiatrist, Dr. Stephen Marmer. He says resilience is like shock absorbers for life. A car or a bike without shock absorbers would yield a really rough ride. However, if it did, the ride is a lot more smoother. In the same way, if we have our own shock absorbers, if we have resilience, then we navigate life with a lot more ease and agility. This pandemic poses quite a high level of adversity. So let's use it to our advantage and build some mental shock absorbers. One of the biggest reasons why we get stressed out is because we focus on things that are out of our control. The case numbers, the restrictions, working from home, online learning, these aren't things that we necessarily have a lot of control over. But instead of focusing on those things, we can focus on what we can control. And one of the things that we can control is our perspective. We can choose to change our perspective on an emotional or stressful event so that it doesn't affect our minds to such an extent. So for example, if you've been online learning for the past couple of months, you can either see that as a disadvantage to your academic success or you can see it as an opportunity for you to take control of your learning, for you to become an independent learner so that you can better pretty much kill adulthood. Like I'm 23 and I still haven't figured it out. If you figured it out and you're 23 or roughly my age, please let me know, I'd really, really appreciate it. You can also take working from home to be you know, a threat to your job security, or you can look at it in a very positive way where it allows you to do more things throughout the day, to spend a bit more time with family. And right? when we shift our perspective, then you know, we release a little bit of mental tension and we can be a little bit more happier as well. A more positive perspective is highly beneficial. You see, what we focus on grows. And if we tend to focus on the things that are negative, then it can get us really stressed out and really anxious and overtake our positive state of mind. Resilient people are people that focus on the positive things and try to get the best out of what can may seem a very difficult situation. Our daily routine is something else that we can organize. This includes things like sleeping patterns, daily exercise, work, and all the other things that we do throughout the day. If we can remain organized, we also feel like we are in a little bit of control, and which is, like I said, what this pandemic kind of creeps up upon. We feel like, you know, it's out of control, it's not in our control, so we get a little bit worried, a little bit stressed out. But when we can organize our life, then we can feel like we got some of our control back, so we aren't pulled left and right by life's ups and downs. Another thing that's part of our daily routine is self-care, and this is incredibly important. We need to make sure that we look after our body, mind, and spirit. And exercise plays another part in this as well. Like exercise is incredibly important, and I know you can't go to the gym, but you can work out at home. And there's a way that you can make it fun and engaging. Like me and a couple of friends, yes, I have friends, over a couple of times a week, I think two or three times, we end up all on Zoom, sharing the screen, watching a YouTube video and doing a workout together. And that is the only time where I will happily accept an advert to appear right in the middle of the video. That's more than welcome. Exercise promotes health, but also releases endorphins, which is the body's natural mood elevator. And this is incredibly important, especially during these times when the pandemic poses a lot of challenges to our mental health. 
Furthermore, who we spend our time with even over Zoom is incredibly important and these are things that we can control. If you're spending time with people that complain, that catastrophize the situation, that are quite fatalistic, then the chances are that that's gonna rub off on you and it's gonna create a lot of unnecessary stress unnecessary anxiety that pretty much no one needs at this point in time. Research found that if you spend time cultivating, developing and improving on relationships with your friends, your family, and if you're lucky enough to have one, a significant other, if you're not, then keep swiping right, you'll get there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> basically the point I'm trying to make is, is that when you foster these relationships, it really does help you create what I like to call a triple S, a social support system that basically supports you in facing all the curveballs life throws at you. A few other random activities that could help you build a lot more resilience is stepping outside. Research found that if you're in the sun for about 10 minutes every day, you are more likely to be more resilient. And also frequency of prayer, so increasing the amount of times that you pray throughout the day will also help you build a bit more resilience as well. We are six months into uncharted territory, but if we keep trying, if we remain positive in spite of the circumstances and everything else that is going on, then we'll end up at the other end with a lot more strength, a lot more faith, and a lot more ready to face any other challenges that life throws at us. All right, so I hope you guys found this video very beneficial to you. If you did, please make sure you do like it and you do share it with friends and family so they can benefit from it as well. Please also make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get updates on when new videos come out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.